So yesterday, guys, on Lakeshore Drive, we had a really messed up situation right by downtown. You know, Lakeshore Drive is the uh, semi-highway that runs along Chicago's lakefront. It's a very beautiful, very scenic route to drive. I've driven it in a lot of my videos back when I had a car. Don't have the car anymore, man. I might be getting another one soon, though, so hopefully that'll happen. But, uh, yeah, it runs from Hollywood, Hollywood uh, Avenue on the north, all the way down to... Correct me if I'm wrong, Southside people, um, if I get this wrong. I think it's around 79th that it stops. If I might be wrong about that, but uh, it might be in the 80s. But it stops like over on the east side. And uh, so, you know, very beautiful. A lot of nice homes, a lot of nice buildings along Lakeshore Drive. And a lot of people take this. But there was a lot of news coverage um, previous few years about a lot of shootings that were taking place on this drive. Now, a lot of this involved like north side gangs. Um, dudes were following their their enemies and or just you know meeting up with their enemies and getting into it like as they were passing them on Lakeshore Drive and there were shootouts taking place all along this this uh, this drive and it was becoming like a very dangerous uh, place to, to travel but that seemed to have died down a little bit in the last year okay along that particular route other expressway shootings were still going on but uh, we had an incident yesterday though of apparent road rage where two cars like got into it apparently over one of the cars not allowing the other car to merge into traffic now i'll say this lakeshore drive is one of those places where uh it is a little bit tricky some of the entrance ramps are a little bit short but i mean relative to some of the other entrance ramps we have in chicago i mean <laughs> have you ever tried to get on the kennedy at halstead like that's like the ramp of death bro you're like you're coming down like at a 45 degree angle you have literally like 0.5 seconds before you got to merge into traffic that's going 70 miles an hour like i avoid you know some of these ramps just because they're so hazardous but uh lakeshore drive has some where you you got to get over pretty quick and in a lot of spots you know there's not a shoulder so that if you can't get over you know you don't die so uh, it can be one of those areas where it gets a little bit dicey, but, you know, two cars got into it, and apparently they started busting at each other, okay? Now, who shot first is a detail that is very important and is something that still has to come out, but they have arrested now um, one of the guys who was involved in this. Now, he claims that he did not fire his gun at all, so that detail hopefully will come out. I know they can run uh, some type of tests on the gun. But, uh, you know, hopefully they got the shell casings or whatever, if there were any, but he claims that he didn't fire it. Because in the car riding with him was a 20 month, was a 21 month old baby who got shot in the head during the shootout, and he is now in critical condition. Prayers up for the baby, man. Hopefully he pulls through. He might have permanent brain damage, even if he does pull through. The baby is stable right now, but his condition is not good. And uh, apparently, from last I've heard, last update, they've been able to keep the swelling in his brain down. But um, I don't know if they have him in a medically induced coma or what. But uh, it's, you know, it's not a good situation with the baby right now, man. So prayers are for the baby. But uh, the driver who was in the car with the baby, he was in a relationship with the with the baby's grandmother. I don't know if he was her husband or boyfriend or whatever he was. But uh, so he's been arrested. Okay, now he had a gun. Um, now, here's here's something that I'm going to say, man. Uh, if you see how this article has played out on social media, like, you know, places where this thing has been posted, everybody on these, these social media sites is saying, slam this guy, he shot a baby. This guy did not shoot the baby, okay? This is not the guy who shot the toddler. This guy was in the car with the toddler. You can't just look at the title. A lot of titles are clickbait. And not only, I wouldn't say just read the article, like when they bring up studies in these articles or when they name statistics, you have to like actually take the time to go look that up and see if they're actually quoting it correctly because a lot of times they don't. You know what I'm saying? Well, even, even a lot of times the text of the article can be misleading. It takes time to actually get accurate information from the media because they sensationalize, they clickbait, and they do a lot of stuff that is not accurate. Okay, But you know he's now being charged in connection with this, exactly what the charges are. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, whoever blew first really is at fault. I mean, a lot of people are just going to blow back, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, don't hate on somebody for, for returning fire. Uh, and whether or not, like I said, whether or not this guy is the first guy to shoot, if he was the first guy to shoot, that is highly foul. Because, you know, shooting at somebody else when you've got a baby in the car, you know, initiating the shootout, that's very foul. But I don't know if he actually did that. We have to wait for those details to come out. So... 
when he was in court, uh, the judge was, you know, talking about what had happened. And this is another thing that I got to say in this guy's defense. The judge said, um, you know, he, he had had a gun that they had found and the gun, they had found this Ruger gun, uh, on this guy or in the car or whatever. And the guy protested about that. He said, he said, no, I didn't have a Ruger. I had a Bursa. And people were calling the guy stupid for telling the cops, you know, that he, for admitting that he had this Bursa handgun. He's not stupid, bro. In court, they said that he had a Ruger. So that gives him reason to believe that they may have his gun mixed up with somebody else's gun. There's a lot of guns in the streets that got bodies on them. It's very important if his gun doesn't have any bodies on them that he makes sure that they don't get his mixed up with somebody else's who does. That could get him slammed for something that he didn't do. He did exactly the right thing, you know, clarify it. This guy's not as foul as people are making him out to be, okay? At least not with the details that have come out so far. But hopefully the baby, man, hopefully this baby pulls through, man. And, you know, road rage, it's never worth it, man. You're already driving. You can just easily, easily drive away. You know what I'm saying? You just hit the gas, you know, or slow up, get off, something like that. Man, I've seen these incidents in person, bro. It's never worth it. It's just, it's just never worth it, man. Like, people, what are you getting into it for? You know, like a little few seconds of, of irritation. Like, this is going to be over in literally seconds. Now it's not going to be over for years. Like, it's just not worth it at all, man. You know, road rage is, road rage is just, you're talking about, like, emotions. You know what I'm saying? You, can you eat emotions? Can you pay your rent with emotions? Can you feed your kids with emotions? It's not worth it, man. This is your boy, Winnie Cedar Report. I'm out.